Right, you see the channel King King Nazareth. And I'm here with a review of Dragon Ball Z Kai episode 131. For anyone expecting this episode to be action factor, watch Dragon Ball Z Kai for the action. Yeah, here I'm going to be kind of disappointed because there's really no, fu my, no fighting here. So the episode starts off with uh, Goku, Gohan, Kabito, and Supreme Kai meeting Elder Kai, who explains that he's uh, Supreme Kai's 15th generation and I mean, ancestor by 15 generations. And uh, he explains that uh, he was imprisoned in the Z-Sword by this powerful opponent who feared his uh, uh, fearsome ability. And uh, it's been recently said that the person who sealed up in the Z-Sword was Beerus from Dragon Ball Z Battle of the God which takes place after the Buu Saga. Uh, and he says that while this opponent was powerful, he was nowhere as powerful as Majin Buu is. But seeing that was 75 million years ago, Beerus is clearly far more powerful than Buu, especially since we've seen him in the movie kicking Buu's butt. Granted, that was good Buu, who is the weakest version of Buu. But semantics, he, Beerus was still stronger than any version of Buu. Anyway, um, Goku and Gohan are skeptical about how, just how strong Elder Kai is, so Goku has the idea of putting uh, putting him to the test by shooting a key blast at, at Elder Kai, seeing what if he could deflect it or withstand it. And Elder Kai takes about as well as anybody, any normal person would. Granted that um, most of the other people who take a key blast from Goku would probably have been dead. And the other guy says that it wasn't his wasn't his fighting prowess that was fearsome, it was his ability to unlock people's true potential. And he says that um he says his Gohan has a lot of power and he could probably bring out his full potential to make him possibly the strongest uh person in the universe, but he refuses to do so. Uh, fortunately Goku is able to coerce him by uh letting him agree to uh, check out Bulma and uh, touch her breast and ass. <laughs> oh, Goku. <laughs> oh, uh, you, you always know how to make me, make me laugh. Uh, so the other Kai agrees, and he performs to do, uh, prepares to do the ritual, which looks a lot like an Indian, I mean, like a Native American dance. I shouldn't say Indian, especially since I'm one-third Native American. Anyway, uh, he tells her that this will take about, uh, the whole process will take about 24 hours, and the dancing ritual uh, will take about five hours. So Goku decides to take a nap, uh, much to Gohan's uh, expense, where he just has to stand still for about five hours. Wow, that's messed up. Meanwhile on Earth, um, uh, Goten and Trunks are uh, finally getting the fusion uh, dance uh, properly done, and they're prepared to do the real thing. And they try it a few, two times, but they get it wrong. The first time they end up as a fat version of Gotenks, and the second time they end up as a skinny one. Until finally they get it right the third time and become... Uh, the more fit and uh, powerful go version of Gotenks. Uh, Piccolo says that he wants Gotenks to wait till the 30 minutes are up so that he can tr try the fusion out of the Super Saiyan. But Gotenks is so confident in his own power that he believes he can defeat Majin Buu without Super Saiyan and prepares and flies off to fight Majin Buu. Oh, well, I'm certain this won't backfire in any sort of way. So, all in all, this episode what has no action, which, if you're into that thing uh, about Dragon Ball Z, you're going to be disappointed. But, there, is some, there was some pretty good comedy. And, comedy is partially what makes Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z Kai so great. And all in all, I still like the episode. <sighs>
So next week we're gonna see Goten's fight Majin Buu. I he I, uh, there's no chance that he'll win, but at least this will be a music fight. So I'll catch you guys later.